and today in this video um today's hair is provided by miss bye so i went ahead and put this wig on and slept it on my head and throughout that as you guys seen by the title i'm doing a get ready chit chat with me hair edition okay but i wanted you guys to kind of know how to love yourself that's what this video is kind of geared towards and how to be more appreciative of the person that you are and are becoming so let's get started into the video <laughs> So this wig already comes made for you. If you're not really great at wigs, this is perfect for you. I did go ahead and add on my own headband. You guys know I make my own custom headbands. Inside looks like this. I dyed right here, so ignore that. But I've been so much into like this whole getting to know yourself, getting to love yourself, knowing how to let people go, knowing how to just live your best life. I feel like it's just so important for people to understand that because Sometimes people look so happy and they're far from happy. It's so easy to hide that stuff on social media and everyday life. I mean, I'm not gonna go ahead and get into like a whole bunch of details, but I am gonna talk on how I make myself feel better, you know? And my last video was pretty much how to let go of toxic people and how I do it and how to start on a whole... Sorry. Pretty much how to start over on a whole new slate. I was getting into that, but I ended up going into a story time. So this wig, this is it. It's still kind of damp. This is how it looks in this natural state, guys. This hair looks so pretty. So I've done three other videos with Miss Bai, and I love, 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 love their wigs. Um, they're made a little bit different than other wigs. Like, they have this, like, plastic thing going on here. When I asked, I believe they said it was, like, if you wanted to like not put a headband, if you want a more comfortable wear, that's what it's for. Yeah, this hair is gorgeous. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this lace. You guys know I can't cut and talk. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut it, speed this part up, and then we're gonna go ahead and get into the topic as I go ahead and slay this wig. So how I do this is I'm pretty much, you guys know, I don't cut in a straight line. I used to cut in a straight line, and I do sometimes, depending on the wig. If a wig already comes pre-plucked, I can go ahead and do a straight line, like extremely pre-plucked. But if a wig comes partially pre-plucked or kind of like this, I like to go ahead and just create the zigzag because I am going to go ahead and pluck it a little bit more. But you can also go ahead and wear it just like this because honestly, it fits on my head perfect. Like I don't need to do much. So as you can see, it sits perfectly on my hairline or a little bit before I should say. So I'm going to talk about like self affirmations in this video and the pretty much the importance of it. If you cannot tell yourself that you're beautiful or feel beautiful or feel like you're going places in life or feel like you're doing something in life, it's not going to help you get to the next level. It's going to only keep you back and it's going to keep you feeling like you're not, you're not really going anywhere. So I feel like a lot of the time I would love to wake up in the morning and do like meditation and watch motivational videos and all this kind of stuff like said i go in the shade room okay i'm gonna shade them all day and that's not the way to start your morning off like you need to start your morning off positive i know most people kind of like live for like the comment section in the shade room but you have to think about how that's gonna affect your morning like you know like is that gonna make you wake up and feel like after you read that for the, for the next two hours or an hour is that gonna make you feel like okay let me go ahead and, and accomplish that let me go ahead. no it's not gonna make you do that honestly it starts you off so wrong i'm gonna get a tweezer even though i don't need one but you know i'm extra let's see how a middle part looks oh these these wigs are 13 by 6 inches, so I love that about it because I hate short parts. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Hiccup. So I remember last week I started watching motivational videos. I started my day off so empowered. I just had like Joel Osteen or just like motivational videos just playing in the background. Will Smith has a really good one. And I just felt like I could like conquer the world. I just felt like I wanted to achieve my goals. Like I wanted to go to the next level. I wanted to see what else was out there. So I really feel like it's really important to start your day off on a good note. Now with that being said, when I was watching it, it was just, I was starting to realize about self affirmations and how important they are. And self affirmations being like, just reminding yourself daily how important you are, of your accomplishments, of what you've done and you know, and who you are as a person. Like, how did you get to where you are today? Like, you must have done some great stuff. And even if you're struggling with, like, stuff that you feel like you're doing so much but you're not seeing anything back from it, self-affirmations really do help because it's like, okay, stop beating up on yourself. So let's say, like, I didn't go to college and I didn't get a degree. I'm not saying that's the only way out. What have you done so far that have that has gotten you here? So 
I don't have a college degree, but I was able to work my way up to manager at this store. What else is out there for me? Maybe I can go back to school. Maybe I'm a beautiful person. I have a great personality. What is out there for me? You know, reminding yourself of why you're an amazing person can honestly help you to strive for more and want more you know so freaking hard doing this honestly uh guys be careful when you're plucking because you don't want to go ahead and start plucking your edges out depending on how your lace is if you're doing this with a different lace wig or with this wig when you get it or whatever um you're watching this video for make sure you just kind of for me it kind of helps when i pull it up on my hairline like on my forehead i know i look a little crazy but um pluck there because there's no hair underneath there so pluck there and then go ahead and slide it back when you're ready but it also helps you to see how realistic your scalp is looking i feel like i've accomplished so much but my accomplishments i've never really been appreciative of like i'm never appreciative of what i'm doing today or what i've accomplished today or what i've done yesterday i'm always looking for the next best thing like or my mind was also always in other places rather than me being happy of what i've accomplished so far in my life you know like there's a lot of people my age that don't have what i have or whatever um not to brag about i should be thankful for that instead of me being thankful i'm like okay what can i do next how can i get that next how can i be there next you know like no i hit 100k let me be happy for 100k don't worry about 200k yet let me be happy but i don't do that i'm never happy for what's happening today what's going on today like i'm so my mind is over there when it's you need to appreciate what's going on now and a lot of times i have to remind myself like i'm an amazing person i'm gorgeous you know you're gorgeous too <laughs> college and i got two degrees and i did this and i did that and i live on my own and I own a business and all kind of stuff and I don't remind myself of that I don't so I feel like I wanted to make this video so I was like okay you know what we can all just remind ourselves oh, this is what we're happy for why we are who we are and what have we done and what we are you know like don't worry about what the next person is doing don't worry about how the next person looks don't worry about what the next person is saying like it doesn't matter it's your life and you need to live your life to the fullest because no one else is gonna live that life for you. I know, I'm so motivational. I didn't, I never gave myself credit. Like, I never wanted to sit here and say, this is what I did and let me celebrate it. Like, I did to a certain extent, but I didn't do it the way I wanted to do it because I took on your how happy you were as a person for me as my happiness. I was so happy to show you what I did because I wanted you to be proud of me, but I never was proud of myself. If that makes sense, somewhere along the lines. So, um, <laughs> I took a little break because I was getting tired of plugging, but well, I don't gotta fuck that much anyways. Self-affirmation just, it helps you to love yourself. It helps you to be like, damn, that, that's me, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's what I did, like, you know? And that's what I take from it. It helps me to love myself, it helps me to recognize the kind of person that I am. It helps me to recognize what's looking back at me when I look in the mirror, you know? Cause sometimes you forget. I mean, I forget sometimes. I forget how I even look sometimes. <laughs> We should all go on this whole two-week self-affirmation thing starting today, starting from when this video gets put out because it's so important that we don't forget how amazing we are. Like I said before, you kind of just want to plaster them down so that they stay this way. But we're not keeping it this way, so hold your horses, put them out, because you want to set them in the direction that you want to set them. Now, we're not doing baby hairs per se, but we kind of want to make the front look natural. So what I'm gonna do actually is right here, I'm just gonna speed this part up and I'm gonna just cluck a little bit faster because I kind of want to just get right here to look a little bit more natural, just right here really. foam on this because we kind of want right here to just stay this way okay we're not gonna keep it like this so don't kill me so if you can see right here and right here it's just way too close for me so I am just going to open that now make sure you're not making yourself a ball spot because that so defeats the purpose of this looking natural.
guys, so this is my end result. This is what I came up with. I hope you guys liked my whole chit chat, get ready with me type thing. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Like, I just feel like, I like these entire like chit chat, get ready with me videos because it's kind of like something different. You know, I'm used to kind of just doing like hair tutorials and boom, leaving it at that. But I really like kind of mixing it in with talking because sometimes tutorials can just be tutorial-ish and I kind of just want to have fun with you guys. I really feel like I'm at a place where I'm trying to find myself and I feel like I'm getting to know myself better and I want to know even more about myself. Sometimes I just want to talk. <laughs> Again, today's hair is from Miss Bai. I will have everything down below for you guys in case you guys are just completely wondering because you really just love this curly hair. Um, I'll let you guys know. Oh, I didn't use any gel on this. I didn't use any gel. I didn't use any glue. I didn't use any adhesive. I kind of just went ahead and just used a headband, the whole headband method. So, hey, back away from that. Get, get away. You will need a hot comb to kind of flatten out the top of your head because it just makes your life so much easier. Or you can use a blow dryer, it's up to you. I recommend a hot comb so you can be easy peasy in and out and ready to go. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and everything that you see over here in this corner. And bye guys!